evolutionary why what does purring do for him in the wild anything other than i mean well, you know what does it signal that, that's a good well i mean it's contentment it okay. is contentment so just like your house cat you know right. he's gonna purr when he's very content yeah but what i mean life. living in the wild purring doesn't i mean like a war would scare <laughs> He's like, can we play? Can what we possibly those, play? I'm feet. three months old and I really want to play. Well, what happened this? What is that? <laughs> what is that? that. Huh? What this? is that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this guy, he, he's going to be doing Short our tail. educational shows at yep. SeaWorld in Orlando. Okay. Oh, now I'm going to be a ferocious predator and go ahead and get this. <laughs> yeah, with the short tail, very different from a cousin that I'm going to bring out and show okay. you and compare with. And can right? they run fast? These guys are pretty fast, but what they are is ambush hunters. Right. So they will actually kind of get behind a rock or a tree. Okay. Uh, they live in forests in a lot of cases, which, again, is, an, is a reason for declining numbers of some species of lynx. And last question before we bring out the other. Short hair, yet you say Siberia. It seems like short hair would be... Is this enough to keep him warm in the winter? They, get, they do get thicker coats in right. the winter. Unfortunately, that's where people have hunted them for, you know, fur trapping right, as right. well, because it is a luxurious fur. Oh, 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 oh. And that's where, you know, we always obviously say, looks so much better on the cat right, than right. on any person. And the okay. cat needs it, right? Well, let's bring out the guy, the other guy was trying okay. to. Here we go. Hi, you. Thank you. Hey. All right, Jay, you're not going to believe this. Here we go. This is Cody. This is Hi, the guy Cody. I was playing with today. Yes. Hi, Cody. Hello again. This is again. a full-grown mountain lion. You can go ahead and put uh, his uh, bowl of milk there up there. Yeah, you want there. a bowl of milk? Here you go. There you go. Here we go. Here and we go. mountain lions are just extraordinary animals, but they're classified the same way yeah. as the lynx. And it's okay. actually very closely related to the lynx. So it's a small cat. These guys actually purr as opposed to roaring, even though they can get up to about 200 pounds. And this pounds. is a cougar, but they didn't get their names by uh, trolling bars and finding younger men, right? These are, these, yeah. You know what? They have more names than any other mammal on the planet. Yeah. Cougar, puma, catamount, oh, puma screamer, is the same painter, thing? Yeah. yeah, all the same, panther. They were found all across the U.S., all up into Canada, and all the way down into Mexico and down into South America. And Will that's you? what makes them really, really special. Unfortunately, we still only have them in the West here in the United States. Here's what he loves that I was doing today. <laughs> Watch him sit down. See him go down? Oh, I think he is. <laughs> See, oh, he loved He's that. Like, yeah. well, okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> Now, Jay, this guy is very, very uncommon because yeah. he is so good around people. Yeah. He has been raised just with the same techniques of all of our animals. But we don't want to very... think people could domesticate an animal. No. Just and that's the thing to, to remember, obviously, is, you know, it takes such uh, experience, such knowledge to be able to work with these types of animals because they still are wild animals. And I want to show you something, Jay. Yeah. Um, let's bring out a, uh, a chicken bone. A chicken bone. Where's the chicken bone? Let's I think uh, we're going to bring it out over here. Okay. Ooh, Thank delicious. you. All right. So I'm going to give him this chicken bone. Okay. Hey, Cody. Cody, come here. Cody, look. Cody, right here. Now listen to this. Listen to crunch that bone. Ah, that could be my bone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. So now you're not supposed to give a cat chicken bones. I thought. Well, this is raw. <laughs> yeah, you know, when they're raw. And this is eat, what they eat in the wild. They, they eat, the eat raw bones. Out, okay. Yeah. So are they fast? Like, a, I mean, can this cat you know run down? This is the most agile of predators. Yeah. It's amazing. They can leap from a standstill. He could stand here and leap all across this run without even. You mean he could leap on Dorian from here? Yeah. <laughs> you want to no. give it a try? No. I would no, love would to see that. that. I would love Dorian. <laughs> take see, one for the team. Dorian now. has. <laughs> he's got the perfect defense, though. Yeah. All you do is get something that makes noise and you can scare these guys off because really they don't want to hurt themselves and they are more likely to stay away from us as long as they know we're around. Well, very cool. Julie, thanks for bringing them out and we have some more animals when we come back.